Okay, here's what we're doing today. I'm gonna to walk you through a smart, time-saving trick to update any eligible Matter device using the 3R Installer app. You'll see just how to generate a QR code from your hub, paste it into the 3R app, and trigger the update. Although I'll be using my SmartWing shade to illustrate the method, the process works with any Matter device in your setup. As for reference, my setup includes a fourth generation Echo as a thread border router. My Homey Pro also supports Matter and Thread and performs as a full thread border router. I also use a SmartThings Aotech hub and a SmartThings V2 hub. Both of these hubs function purely as Matter controllers and not as thread border routers. Because we're using Matter, you can initiate updates from any hub that's a Matter controller on your thread network. The device doesn't have to belong to that hub. Now that you know my setup, I'll begin by walking you through the update process step-by-step -step using screenshots I captured earlier. I'll then show you a live demo of generating a shared QR code and adding the device to the 3R app, so you'll see exactly how the process works. As stated, I'll be using my SmartWings Matter Shade for this demonstration. After updating SmartWings Shades to Matter 1.3, you will improve thread stability and make your Shade's wireless connection more reliable across any Matter compatible hub. So assuming your Shades have been dropping offline or acting flaky, updating to Matter 1.3 could be the fix you've been waiting for. Let's jump in. As we get started, I recommend that you check your Shades compatibility for a Matter update by reaching out to SmartWings as I did. If you've got an older module, SmartWings may need to swap it out for an updated module. But if your device is on the eligibility list, you're golden. To get started, download and install the 3R installer app from the Apple Store or the Google Play Store. So some of you may be wondering, what is this 3R installer app and am I exposing my network by using this app? So here's the deal. The 3R installer app doesn't get blanket access to your Wi-Fi or local network. It only uses the Matter or Bluetooth connection path to push firmware directly to your device. The shared QR code doesn't hand SmartWings or 3R full network credentials. It only provides what's necessary for one device to stay connected. Matter firmware transfers are encrypted and signed. The shade itself verifies the file before applying it. There's no tunnel or backdoor left open afterward. Best practice, once your device is updated, delete it from the 3R installer app. This removes any lingering link between the app and your shade. If you want to go full belt and suspenders, then uninstall the app until you need it again. So bottom line, the 3R app is a temporary update tool, not a spy portal into your network. Use it, delete the updated device from your 3R app, and you're good to go. The online guide that I source for direction on using the 3R installer app instructed me to pair my SmartWings Matter Shades directly to the 3R app in order to perform the firmware update. But if you follow this method, it will cause your device to be disconnected from the original hub. When a device is disconnected, all references to the device are deleted from flows and routines. Your settings and history will also be wiped as well. Therefore, rather than pairing your SmartWing shade directly to the 3R installer app, go to the hub that your shades are directly installed on. For me, that's the Homey Pro and generate and copy the shared Matter QR code. Then open the 3R installer app, tap the plus sign to add the device and choose setup without a QR code. In the screen that follows, manually paste the shared QR code you got from the original hub. The shade will be installed in the 3R app without the need to physically initiate pairing mode on your shade. No jogging motors, no disconnected devices, and best of all, your existing routines and flows don't get broken. Once your shade is added within the 3R installer app, tap on the device to open the settings screen and check to see if an update is available. If you see a Matter update listed, tap on the download and install link. You'll then see a pop-up labeled as transferring image, which confirms that the image transfer process has started. Directly below that pop-up is a progress bar that displays the percentage of completion as the app pushes the firmware update to the shade. 
Since your phone connection is critical, it is recommended that you stay close to the shade. Proximity to the hub isn't as important as proximity to the shade itself. And whatever you do, don't let your phone screen lock and don't background the app or the transfer process is likely to stall. After the transfer completes at 100%, the 3R app must apply the updated firmware image to your device. You will see the text applying update, which confirms that the firmware is being applied to the device. The process of applying the update can take some time, so be patient and do not close the app. Once the update is applied, you will see the text stating no upgrades available. You will also see text which verifies the updated firmware version. Sometimes the OTA or over-the-air update fails. If it does, delete the shade from the 3R installer, restart the app, re-add the device with the shared QR code, and then try again. When installing the update to my first shade, it took me a couple of attempts. The initial failure was likely because I was not positioning my phone near the shade. After the update, the shade should reconnect automatically to your matter or thread network. Check your hub to make sure it's visible and online. If you check the original hub's advanced device page, you should also see the new software version reflected in there as well. I'll now show you a live demo of the process of using the 3R installer app. I'll be demonstrating an update for one of my SmartWings Matter shades. I'll generate a shared QR code from my Homey Pro app and add the shade to the 3R installer app and check the firmware version of the shade. This will help you see exactly how it works in practice. Since my shades already have the latest firmware, I will be unable to do a live demo on the steps to download and install the OTA update. However, you just need to follow the above stated workflow to complete the full OTA update. So I'm in my Homey app. Let me brighten this up a little bit so I can see better. There we go. And I'm gonna go into the devices screen and I'm going to find my shades. The shades I'm gonna use are the ones in the guest bedroom. We'll select this shade here. And I am going into settings and advanced settings. And you see way at the bottom, first of all, you see the software version here is 1.3.0. So this shade is already updated, but I'm gonna show you how to share the Matter device to the 3R app. So let's tap on that share matter device. It's generated a code. I'm going to copy that code. Then I'm going to go over, leaving this uh, app open. I'm going to go over to the 3R app. I'm going to hit plus sign to add a device. We'll select matter. I'm going to tap on setup without a QR code. And I'm going to paste that code in there. Hit continue. All right, it's now looking for the device. It found it, it's setting it up. And there you see my SmartWing shade. I'm gonna tap on that. And if you go down to the bottom, it shows uh, under version, it shows 1.3.0. It says no updates available. You can check for an update, but you're gonna find out that there's no updates available. In your case, assuming that you have a firmware version that's less than 1.3, you're going to see download and install. It's going to show you your current version is less than that, and it'll give you a chance to download and install. So you'll tap on that link, and once you do, then you'll see that window pop up that states that uh, the image is being transferred. You'll also see that progress bar. You'll wait until it gets to 100%. Once it does, then it's going to say that it's applying the firmware image. And uh, once that's complete, then you can close this app. You can go back and you can select the device and go into settings and you can delete if you want. So yes, you can delete and that device is no longer then in the 3R app, but your device has been updated. Then you can go back to the original app which in my case is the Homey app. And again, go into the settings and check your software version to make sure that everything's up to date. As previously stated, this same workflow applies to any other Matter devices in your setup. I produced a full step-by-step -step guide on my website that documents the workflow. The guide includes helpful screenshot images for many of the steps. 
Just hop over to the Buzz Smart Home website and type 3R Installer in the search field on the homepage. And that's it. If your Smart Wings Matter shades have been flaky, this update might be the fix you've been waiting for. So are your shades behaving better after the update? Drop me a comment and let me know. And hey, if this helped, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next Smart Home video.